This is a very important question and interesting question. What happens in the brain of a pianist when he's playing a Ligeti etude? Let's take Autumn de Varsovie. So first of all, he sees the, the sheet music complex. He has to decipher, he has to decode these very complex visual symbols, the notes. Of course, this will be translated then in an auditory image. If he's a, how to say, if he's an experienced pianist, he will hear already the inner sound. And then he has to transform it in motor patterns. Before he is starting to play, his frontal lobe will somehow form a strategy. How can I approach this difficult sheet music? This strategy will then be handed out to the programming centers in the so-called supplementary motor areas. The programming centers, they will rely on the many, many thousand motor programs I have worked on the last 20, 30, 40 years, my pianist's life. And then we will recruit from the deep of the inner of our brain, from the basal ganglia, we will recruit the proper motor programs which are suitable for this really very difficult etude. And then I will give these motor programs to my motor areas in the frontal lobe and then I can somehow address single digits. But before I move the digits, I will have to imagine, I have to inner hear, to audiate the sound I will produce. So the first movement of the finger is not released if I do not have an inner image of the sound. And then I will also anticipate what's going to happen to my fingers. So I will feel, before I touch the key, I will feel how the resistance of the key is approaching my tip of the finger. Then I feel all the forces acting on my tendons, the forces acting of my muscles. I will feel the action when I put the action of the hammer into form the resistance then. And I will even um, uh, feel when my finger reach the bed of the key before the finger has uh, touched the key. And I do not only feel what I an anticipate my feelings, I also even see my fingers. So even though I have no visual eye contact to my hand, somehow in my visual centers I have an image of myself playing. So we have these dimensions, anticipation of the sound, anticipation of the bodily feelings, anticipations of the visual appearance, and then I can start and play.